So you've been with Bronco 13 years. You met him when you turned when you were 50 the day before or two days before on a plane. So here's an interesting uh, question. Um, talk amongst yourselves. D- does it change what you're looking for when you're 50 and dating versus? Yes. How had you changed? Uh, you look back at your past mistakes. You know, I was married to a very good man. Um, that doesn't mean you're completely compatible, right? But I think I came, you, you both come in as you are with your own issues because we all have, like you said, childhood issues. Oh, yeah. And, and I, I think that a part of me also, and I've never said this in my life, and I'm going to say it here. This one's for you. I think I had um, probably int- intimacy issues somehow that, you know, I wasn't that girl who just got around or anything like that. I was very, um, and I think that I probably had things and he had things. And when you are creating children and creating companies and you're young and you're growing up, you know, maybe you take each other for granted or Maybe. you want more of this time and they want more of that time and you just kind of grow apart. So I think as you're older, like you and Joe, when you see that happening or even with Bronco, I'd tell him, you know, we need to start spending more time together. And, and I see it right away when I get too busy and he gets too busy and I'm in Philly for a week and I already see you feel that things start kind of, you know, and you've got to do the work. Because you can't just jump from person to person and think it's going to go away. No. You're going to have a little bit of a great time, and then it's going to be the same all over again. So you met Bronco pretty much the day before you turned 50. How did you meet him, and what did you first notice about him? charity work. Can you imagine? I was going to Haiti for a shelter that we have with 52 um, mentally challenged children. And... Mm. I did not look my best. And I got to tell you, every man I've ever met, I never looked my best. So, you know, you you just meet people when you're supposed to. And I remember when I was going there, I was with five people. Um, and we were on the same flight. He saw me at the airport. It was like 5 a.m. And then on the way back, we were on the same flight. Shot it. Yeah. So he was in the last seat of first class and I was in the first seat of coach. Mind you, I was like in all long sleeves, it was mosquito season. My yeah, parents yeah, were yeah. scared, it was yeah. hot. I looked like hell, I had my hair on top of my head. This guy walks up to my seat with a cookie, American Airlines cookie, and From said- first saw- class. No yes, <laughs> he goes, I saw you, he, he, like I'm sitting next to my friend, the cousin, the people from Partners in Health, and he goes, I saw you this morning and I wanted to give you a cookie, and I was like, I look at my friend, I go, that's such a player move. <laughs> You thought that was a player move? I think that's the most adorable, sweet, 